When faced with ruination, an uncle has but two choices. To give up or to rebuild. Spark shot into the secondary, vaporizing that gossamer thin copper. I choose twos to rebuild my prototype handheld Tesla coil. This time, two 3D print a modified secondary form. This time, from polycarbonate carbon fiber. I really like the finish, it's very nice looking. This time, very well sanded. This time, coated with electric proof resin. Now it's got a bubble, it's got a weird bubble. This time, this is. nothing can go wrong at all. If you sniffed it and it will love your nose. I choose tubes to rebuild. Meanwhile, toiling in the valleys, Uncle Dave too, a sort of schismed off Uncle Dave, I have come up with a schematic, Duh -duh. continues to try and build a phase shifting control system. This is hopefully like a long straight spark being formed using bits of old Pong. So yeah, that's, that's the game Pong. It's not running any software. It's just running on these logic chips on the board. So I want to use this level of technology to build the control of the heart of Sparkness. This is forcing me to think much harder than I enjoy to think. Hello mate, it's your Uncle Dave here. So I did the sanding. It was quite boring, but the polycarbonate carbon fibre did sand really nice and smooth. And that's going to become relevant later on in the movie. Dichloromethane. It's toxic, so just don't get it on yourself, but no point wearing gloves. Because it goes through them. There we are. Snip, scrape off the enamel and scratch the brass. Ow. <laughs> You're never too old to burn yourself with a soldering iron. I feel like the main thing I did with my soldering iron when I was a kid was burn myself. Well, it doesn't need this massive bearing. This massive bearing was all I had when I built the winding uh, jig and uh, well it doesn't do any harm having a massive bearing does it? It has no bearing on things. All these parts were 3D printed. You can spin. Now being very careful with the wire, we pop it in. That's ready to go. <sighs> so glad to be back here again. This view is full of so many Wonderful memories. <laughs> yeah! Oh. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. It's just a never-ending tedious task. Hey, remember when I said I was going to do a sort of cyclical behaviour? Going to do this for a while uh, until I get bored of this, and then I'm going to go back over to the coil over there, and then I'll do that until I get bored, and then I'll come here and do this. And by doing this sort of cyclical behaviour, um, sanity, sanity, sanity shall be preserved. winding. Back to breadboarding. Back to coiling. Do you know what though? This is so much easier than it was last time. And I think that's to do with how smooth the coil form is. Or maybe the material it's made from. It's just gliding on in the way that it does in other people's videos. <laughs> you know, when people use bits of pipe and stuff. Um, it just, it did not go on this smoothly before at all. So this is much less stressful. At this current point, a couple of hours in, I am feeling remarkably zen.
it's going quite well, but I've just remembered another crucial part of not getting too stressed out uh, at these times of doing a project, and that's having a sandwich. So I'm gonna have a sandwich, keep the old blood sugar up. There's a certain amount of despair that can set in. Smidge further. It's just a limited amount of time that you can stare at one place. Somewhat improbably, I think we're nearly there, and it's it's not been bad. <laughs> spoke too soon. Is speaking too soon a form of hubris? You really can't beat the system. I'm gonna reverse a little bit now, I think. <laughs> oh dear. It's got a little bit of a tangle here at the last second. I'm so glad you're here to witness this. I hate to suffer alone. What's happening here? I think I'm gonna be able to work through it. It's not uh, It's not the end of the world. Yeah, we just had a little bit of a sort of a ping off. Ping off, will you? All right. Panic's over. Drop of dichloromethane. Secure that instantly. Oh. Everything's going to be fine. I need to cover it in some kind of insulating layer, I think. Long-term sufferers of this channel may remember that I've actually physically copied the exact parameters of a lone oceans coil so that I can put my own control system on it. I glanced briefly at the pictures of the lone oceans coil and it didn't look like it varnished it, but on quickly zooming in to the JPEG noise, one does see some signs of varnishy. And I have found this in the cupboard, less than 10 years old, but maybe not much less than 10 years old. So I'm gonna just mix up a little test batch. Um, I don't know what I got it for originally, some sort of abandoned project. Here? I know, it's definitely not clear at the moment. We'll check back on this in a bit. Now oh, that's been about 20 hours and it is set. It looks pretty good. There's some tiny little bubbles. This is gonna be quite an intense situation, what's about to happen now. These end discs are on, so these are kind of uh, like dams. So when I pour the stuff, it stays on. I don't think it's gonna work very well, unless we're having to rely on the old pesky gravity. But it could be exciting. We do need it to be level. Got the two parts of the epoxy here. What we found before was, I don't even see inside there, little tiny bubbles. So I'm gonna try and remove those bubbles using a vacuum pump, which mm, is not necessarily a very good idea. Um, I've got this plastic pot. I just use this for clearing the, uh, the pipes in my dishwasher. There's a risk that it might actually sort of implode and spray resin everywhere. Confidence is low right now. Dip that in, vacuum pump going on. Ooh. Can't see too many bubbles. I think I'm not pulling a, a high enough vacuum. It's not foaming up. A few bubbles came out, but uh, not what I was hoping for. I need to get a proper vacuum chamber. It was worth a try. 
Okay. We definitely have not avoided bubbles. The bubbles are just an aesthetic thing, of course. It's the insulation we're after to make sure that this coil doesn't go the way of its predecessor. This is where things could go very badly wrong. Maybe slower, do you think? It's got to be faster than that. Gloopy and mesmerising. Oh, it's definitely dribbling off there. More speed. Can you see why I was nervous about doing this? No, it's got a bubble. It's got a weird bubble. Oh, jeez. Just wanted to go smooth. Faster, slower. It's got these weird sort of troughs and peaks and... I mean... Yeah. <laughs> so maybe there's just a perfect speed for the viscosity and I just I, there's no way of knowing it well, it's been about another half an hour it's pretty stable it's got this slight hump here I'm just looking at this uh, the white line on the top oh, Auntie Rose is back I'm going to put you on time lapse see if you can see any difference This morning, and this, miraculously, turned out quite nicely. Look at that, it's all shiny. Those bubbles I deliberately put in there turned out really nicely, didn't they? Right, um... Taking a break from trying to make the control system uh, because I need to test out the coil before we connect anything to it. Uh, so I've got the staccato interrupter. Just a quick reminder of uh, how this works. So the power that's going into the coil is directly from the mains through a variac, which just allows me to turn the voltage up and down. That's underneath the desk here. Uh, that goes into a, a full bridge rectifier. This breadboarded circuit here that I built before switches the coil on just for the upslope of the little bumps of the rectified mains voltage. There we go. That's a little bit more of a sinister mood now, isn't it? Um, this is as far as I've got with the control so far. Um, quite complicated, but I've run out of uh, breadboard space and I need this breadboard as well. So that's another reason to do this test now. Anyway, let's see if, let's see if this still works and then we can move on with our lives. Come on, ribs. Here she is. <laughs> You're not allowed in here because it's too terrifying. What if you sniffed it and it went up your nose? Hmm? No, I wouldn't like it. So I'm going to put you back outside again. You've got to stop barking though. Good girl. Okay, seems to be working. What was that? Oh no! 
Oh no. Oh dear. Yep. Um, something bad has happened. What was that? No idea where that came from. Did you see all the smoke? I did. I didn't like it. And that was a very bad smell in here. Hmm. Smoke came from under here. What's that? Oh dear. Beeping noises. <laughs>